The biggest mistake I made in my business was not hiring a professional to help me with my money. Not just my taxes, but the actual plan I had for my business. I was completely lost on how to handle taxes, what to do with profit, and how to maintain my income. I had to find a better way. That's when I found Core Financial. Core Financial is a team of tax professionals that actually care about building real relationships with their clients. They run my books, keep me up to date with my finances, and make sure I'm taking full advantage of all of my tax benefits. Are you struggling with your finances? Look no further. Core Financial is a brand that is nationwide that can help you with your business. Both Nick and I are huge fans of Core and they can help you too. Check out howtofilmweddings.com slash core to schedule a consultation today. Core Financial, real relationships, no surprises. Hello and welcome to How to Film Weddings. My name is John Bunn and today is a brand new episode of the How to Film Weddings podcast. I'm actually flying solo today and this may well be one of the hardest episodes that I record. Um, I contemplated going back and forth whether or not I wanted to have a, a, a recording about this subject, um, but ultimately decided that um, I think it is the best for our community. Um, and so I just, yeah, I asked Nick about it and I said, you know, what would your thoughts be if I talk about this subject um, and, and do it by myself and just kind of process things with you. And he uh, he agreed that it would be good. And um, like I said, this might be a a harder episode for me, but a lot has changed for me in the last month of my life, uh, less than a month. Um, and so it affects me and it affects uh, how I'm going to move forward with my life um, and what I'm doing and how I'm doing it with wedding film, uh, my wedding film business and just what that, you know, what this experience that I've just gone through has, um, how it's going to affect me. And I think that, you know, um, after we, we walk through this episode together, um, you know, that it'll make way more sense what I'm talking about and everything. But I, I think that, you know, the main thing I want to get across is what we do is so very important. And, you know, we talk a lot about the business side of what we do. We talk a lot about the shooting and the editing. Um, rarely do we talk about the importance of what we do to, you know, in the wedding film industry, what it means to the people that we're actually working for. And, um, you know, just to kind of jump into it, some of you may know, uh, uh, I'm going to do my best here. Um, but some of you may know my father passed away, um, on October the 17th. Um, it was unexpected. He was 62 years old. Um, we're not ex sure even a million percent exactly what happened, but, um, he, uh, was internally bleeding and my mom was on the way to the hospital with him. Uh, they sent him home and on the way home, he actually just didn't wake up. And so I got a phone call at 1030 at night um, or 930 at night from my mom saying, hey, uh, your dad is not responsive. I'm calling the police. I just want you to know, please start praying. And I was packing. I was in the middle of packing to head to Venture Workshop. And like the call, like, you know, I was like, okay, um, I, I, what do I do? How do I, you know, where do I go? What do I, and, um, about 10 minutes after that phone call is when he actually, you know, was pronounced that he it was no longer with us followed by, um, a lot of emotion, of course, but, um, I immediately, you know, losing somebody that's as close as your dad is to you. I had a great relationship with my father. I had just seen him a couple of days before. Um, immediately, I was just like, what do I, I, I want to find pictures. I need to find things like, well, how am I going to um, do this? Like, how am I going to remember him? How am I going to, um, it, you know, it, I immediately went to what media do I have of him? What do I have recorded? Where's his voice? And I went to my voicemails and I had a, a voicemail from a couple of days before where he told me he loved me and like had would just give me like a normal update on things. And, you know, that has been really I've listened to that voicemail probably 
50 times his voice. And my brother got married a couple years ago, and my dad actually spoke a prayer at the wedding. And I actually had Nick film the wedding because uh, I was in it. And like, I immediately went to my brother's wedding film and I can't tell you how many times I've gone to the prayer of his wedding film and just watched it again and again and again to hear my dad's voice and to have that on film is so very important to me and my family. It, it means so much to me already in the first three weeks of him not being here. And I've spent the next, you know, last three weeks, uh, you know, doing everything I could to find any photos of him, um, any videos of him on my phone or on my hard drives. And, um, you know, I wanted to just have a, an episode where we talk a lot about um, the importance of what it is that we do and what it means to people. And it's going to be a little shorter episode, um, but I think as a reminder, as we're ending this year um, of 2020 and we are We've been through a lot as a country. Um, we just had an election that's still ongoing. Um, we've had COVID-19. People are losing jobs and money is low. And it's just a lot, of, a lot of crap in 2020. It's it's definitely not been what everybody thought it would be. Um, and I just, I, I'm so focused as a human on business and and uh, profit and spreadsheets and how to take care of customers and things like that, that somewhere along the line, I think I just kind of got used to being in these special moments and got used to, I'm at a wedding and watching a father give his you know bride away or a father and his son on a wedding day, uh, you know, those kinds of moments I know, like, I haven't had a wedding since my dad passed away, but I know those moments are going to hit me differently. And our clients, I know for sure my clients don't realize, like, how can you realize how important moments are with parents until you don't have one of them or both of them? Or, And, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of you that have lost parents or loved ones, um, siblings or spouses or whatever, um, you know, and you look at things differently and as a wedding filmmaker, yeah, it's really great to be shooting 4k 120 frames, but I can tell you this much. I do not care what frame rate that prayer is of my dad. I don't care what camera it was shot in and I don't care what the color balance was. I couldn't tell you. All I can tell you is that to be able to push play and see my dad is so important to me. Sorry. It's so important to me. And that's what we are giving to our clients. And I would encourage you to not just look at yourself as a luxury item and to fight for people to get those memories on film and to fight for people to understand the value of what it is that we do. The flowers are going to fade away. The food is going to go away. The drinks are going to go away. But those memories, those precious memories of those precious people are what is so important. And photos, yes, I, I love seeing photos of my dad, but being able to hear his voice and hear his prayer over not only my brother, but our family, I'm going to cherish that for the rest of my life. And it means so, so much. And I just want to, you know, I want to, I'm sorry. As we, you know, now are moving forward without my dad, it's a very harsh reality that I lost my dad at a really young age. I'm going to spend the majority of my life without my dad. And I'm scared to death, scared to death that I'm going to forget what he sounded like or what, I'm so sorry, or what uh, his mannerisms were or my kids forgetting what their papa, I'm so sorry. I thought I could do this. <laughs> my kids, my three-year-old daughter will knows who her papa is uh, and having things like that video and videos of him are going to help her remember who he was and who he is and 
we get into all these arguments about stupid stuff on these forums and our, in our groups about what camera brand is best or what, you know, drone you should be using. And I get it. We're creative people, but I just think we need to stop every now and then and realize what we are doing is so very, very important. When you are thinking about your company moving into next year, moving into the future, I would encourage you not to profit off of loss or someone else's loss, but to realize that, you know, you can use these real life things to help people see the value in what you bring. Um, you can incorporate, you know, the 10 years from now conversation into why you should have a wedding film and why you shouldn't cut any corners on it. I know moving forward with me and my consultations, like I'm not going to be afraid to tell people that like, my, my father has passed away. I'm able to see him. I'm able to push play and be able to go straight back to moments where he's there because we had someone film things. We had people, you know, grandparents or uncles and aunts or, you know, that side of things. And then just the importance of showing your family moving forward the love that you have with your spouse. You know, that like there's so many things in there, but like... For the longest time, I can, like, I know the mo moments are super important and they're so sweet, but having a traumatic loss quickly in my life, my, like, everything, I've been rocked to my core, you know, I, I'm trying to find a new normal, I'm trying to find what, like, I've almost sent my dad a text, like, 25 times in the last three weeks and I, I just can't, and it's, it's, it's finite. And I was talking to my wife and it's like, you know, I, I'm not looking forward. Her, her parents are both alive and she's really close with them. And it's like, I'm not looking forward to when you have to say goodbye to your parents because I'd been there in my head before. Like, yeah, one day I will lose my parents. Um, one day I'll lose my dad. I won't be able to talk to him anymore. But I never really went there in my head that that's such a finite thing on this earth to where I can never call him again. Like I can never talk to him on earth, right? Like I can maybe have a dream. I can, but like I'm cut off from connection with him. And what we do as wedding filmmakers is we help those connect with those that are so important to them for the years to come after they pass. Um, and so, I, you know, I, I don't, I mean, besides that, I, I don't have too, too much to say except for that whenever you're in, your these groups and whenever you're thinking about what you do and why you do it and I don't know if wedding filmmaking is all that important or or I don't you know know if I'll do this forever like that's fine but just know that if you're a wedding filmmaker you are doing something that is really important um, you're doing something that's really precious to people and it is a big deal more after this break what would you take on if you had an extra set of hands? What would you do with your free time if you didn't have to edit? So many of us get bogged down in the post-production hustle that we never seem time to focus on our business. John and I both felt that way until we found Weditor. Weditor is a post-production team of top wedding film editors and project managers that give your films and brand the extra eyes, ears, and hands that they need. Not only is Weditor delivering films we love to our couples faster, but we can invest ourselves fully in other areas of our business knowing that Weditor has our back. Be the first to know how your second shooters are doing, how those new LUTs work with your footage, and relax knowing your couples are getting the full attention they deserve on every single project. So what could you do with an extra hand? Head over to howtofilmweddings.com slash Weditor, whether you're ready to start now or preparing for next season. Be sure to use promo code HTFW for $50 off your first project. If you're interested in this service, make sure you head over to howtofilmweddings.com slash Weditor soon. Fall 2020 spots are lined up and filling up fast. Weditor, more than freelance, more than outsourcing. Finding the perfect song for your wedding film can be so frustrating. 
We spend countless hours searching for the perfect song. When it comes to licensing music, Nick and I both love Musicbed. Not only do they have the best music, but their website makes it so easy to find the perfect song and to find it fast. We have both been using the Musicbed's wedding subscription for years and cannot recommend it enough. Not only are they adding new music from incredible musicians like Chapters, The Light, The Heat, and Tony Anderson all the time, they've made it incredibly easy to search their library for mood, genre, instrumentation, and even key. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to howtofilmweddings.com slash musicbed and use promo code HTFW for a free month of a Musicbed wedding subscription. howtofilmweddings.com slash musicbed. Okay, we are back from... Uh, I am back from break. Had to take a second here. But... Long story short, and this episode is not going to go much longer than this, is that when something happens to you, whenever you lose somebody that you you love, things change, and I am a changed person. I am a different person. There is uh, a different air about me, and I know the further that I get away from losing my dad, the less the pain will be, and you know, I wanted to record this while it was pretty raw so whenever i'm feeling discouraged i can about wedding filmmaking i can go back to this episode and i can remember why it is that i do what i do and why it is important and why it doesn't matter if the camera setting is exactly perfect or if the footage was shaky the moments that you're capturing the way that you're capturing them you should be filming in such a way that you are giving people heirlooms. You're giving people something to look back on and whether or not it, it, the shot makes it to your Instagram reel or, or whatever, like I would encourage you to be looking for moments throughout the day that you just know that people would love to have for the future, whether or not you end up selling that as raw footage or giving it to them or whatever, having that kind of a, a, a mindset going into a wedding day makes dealing with a crappy photographer it makes it different dealing with being behind schedule the wedding day is not about us you know and we are the guide to help them you know enjoy their day as well as to relive the day and if that is the filter we have whenever we are um, growing and building our business that is going to benefit you so much in the long term you know, in the long run with your business. So, um, you know, as I look back at the life of my father and, um, you know, what life is going to be like moving forward without him, I can't imagine how many hundreds, if not thousands of times I'm going to go find photos and videos of that man so I can relive those moments. And it is so, so important. And that's what I'll end with today is that what you do as a wedding filmmaker is so important and don't let anybody tell you that it's not don't let anybody make you feel like you are something that is not you know that you're just a salesperson or you're just out to make money yes we obviously believe you should make money doing what you love and you should make good money doing what you love and this just goes to show you the importance of what we do and why we should be putting the value on it as a community why we, we should be putting the value on it that it actually brings. Stop selling yourself short. Start showing people and educating people why it is so, so very important for you to capture their wedding, for somebody to capture their wedding. And if you have a pure heart when talking to couples and talking to families and remind them of the importance of what you do and show them why this is actually besides getting married, the most important thing you're going to have on your wedding day. When people have that mindset, they shift. Whenever people see the value, they're like, oh, I'm willing to spend more. I'm willing to have more recorded. And I would say, don't just limit yourself to filming on the wedding day. As you get to know the couple and learn their story, see if you can come to the rehearsal dinner, see if you can come do things um, the week of their wedding, like capture moments, capture people, you know, don't be so like, oh, well, it's just family photos. I'm not going to capture that. Like those moments are very important to people, even if you don't end up putting them on your highlight reel. So um, 
thank you guys for the support. I know um, I haven't like posted much in the groups or anything about losing my dad. Honestly, for a couple of weeks, I just stayed home and with family and I'm just kind of getting back into the swing of things and trying to move forward. And so um, the, to those of you who were at Venture, I came out for just um, a couple of days. I, I felt like getting out of town and getting out in the mountains and seeing some of my closest friends was the healthiest thing for me. Um, after he, my dad died and that was so helpful. So it was so good to get to see so many of you at venture and for the day or so I came out for, I think a day and a half, um, I came out and then came back home, but, um, you know, I haven't really posted much in the groups and, and, and things like that. And a lot of you would probably not even know that any of this was going on with me. So I appreciate all the kind words, you know, it means the world to have your prayers and your thoughts with my family as we go through this, but Honestly, whenever thinking about it and thinking about how I could honor him, he watched all, you know, like not every episode, but he was very into giving, you know, likes and loves to all of our posts and was so proud of me and what we're doing. And like, I felt like to honor him, you know, if there were filmmakers around the world that benefited from hearing my story about losing my dad, that he would be smiling right now and so thank you guys so much for tuning in this week um remember 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 that what you do is so very important thank you guys so much and until next time we'll see you